High school football has been a part of the local landscape since South Dakota was admitted to the Union as the 40th state in 1889. Well, it wasn't until 1981 that the South Dakota High School Activities Association implemented a playoff format to determine its football champions. In tonight's Eye on Kettleland, Travis Fossey explains how the playoffs got their start, how the game has grown in the last 40 years, and what lies ahead. South Dakota is celebrating a milestone, 40 years of high school playoff football. The idea of not having a postseason seems almost unthinkable now, but that was reality prior to 1981, with fans settling for mythical champions for more than 50 years. It wasn't until the 1970s that the state's push for the playoffs started to gain steam. Every state around us was, was bringing in playoffs for football, and and uh, we were kind of being left behind, and, and I think that got us motivated a little bit. Uh, it had been brought up several times between 1970 and 1981 uh, to implement the football playoffs, and, and at the time there was a threshold of a two-thirds majority of the membership uh, voting to approve it, and they could never get to that threshold. They'd get to 58, 59, 60 percent, but could not get to that two-thirds um, Percentage. There was a clause in the Activities Association Constitution that said there will not be football playoffs. Why that was ever in there, I don't know, but they worked really hard to get rid of that clause and get them going, and it was a lawsuit that eventually ended up in uh, the judge demanding that you remove that clause. The lawsuit was filed in February 1981 by Sioux Falls attorney and O'Gorman parent Tony Wisensee. He was frustrated like we all were with all the other efforts we tried to get this through. And, uh, you know, being an attorney, he said there is one more thing we can try, and that's simply uh, file a lawsuit. And so, you know, we thought it was a long shot when he did it, but it turned out to be very successful. The judge ruled in favor of Wisensee. Votes no longer required a two-thirds majority, simply 50% plus one vote, paving the way for the playoffs. The Activities Association dropped all appeals in April 1981. Some separate groups involved that were supportive and opposed to it for a long time, and it wasn't really going anywhere. And, and once they got that interpretation that, no, you can move forward on this with the majority vote, I think that was, hey, we've got a direction here. This is obviously something that a majority of our schools want to do. Uh, let's, let's take it and run. The priorities of every football team changed that fall. The end of the season, uh, is the most exciting part of the year instead of the beginning. And I, I guess I felt like when I first started coaching, the beginning of the season was the exciting time. Kim Nelson is South Dakota's all-time winningest football coach. He was the head coach in Millbank in 1981. The goals have changed and the expectations have changed. And I think it's been great for football. I think it's been great for kids in South Dakota. I, I think it's made football a, a bigger deal. And. Uh, you know, getting to the Dome has been a goal for every team for a long time. O'Gorman earned the first of its nine championships that fall. The first playoff in 81 was undefeated Yankton against us in the finals, which would have been the first time we'd played in a long time. So there was a lot of excitement and a lot of enthusiasm. Steve Keeter was the Knights defensive coordinator in 81. He also won 289 games and seven titles as a head coach and has seen the game grow over the past four decades. It's a more exciting game. Uh, you know, there's more spread offenses, obviously more throwing the ball. Really good athletes now. We have athletes that are going to the D1 level consistently now out of these schools here in South Dakota. Helping South Dakota climb the football ladder. The teams I see here in South Dakota could compete well with the Minneapolis teams or the Omaha teams. So, I mean, I think that uh, speaks well for what's happening in South Dakota. Our population, I think, is going to continue to rise. And, and I think that the schools in the Sioux Falls area are going to become the bigger schools. I see T growing faster. Um, you know, I, I'm expecting West Central to start really growing. Um, Harrisburg obviously is another example, Brandon Valley. As the big get bigger, some of the state's smallest teams may have to get even smaller. We looked at a six, a six man option a few years ago and didn't have enough schools that they were interested to really make it viable. Um, but that might be something we need to look at and be flexible in the future with, with schools. As it currently stands, South Dakota has seven classes of football, and each will crown a champion before the end of the weekend. Really thankful that it got going uh, back in 81, and now 40 years later, uh, we, we hope to just keep continuing to build on uh, our football programs that we have and, and the state championships that we do. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Travis Fawson.
Great story. Love seeing that old footage. The South Dakota Football Championships, they kick off at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning with the Class 9B Championship game featuring Potter County and Del Rapids St. Mary's. And the complete list of championship games, including matchups, dates, and times, is available with the story on Kelloland.com.